It's not like any other service. It's not like the service we come where we begin to prophesy to ourselves and begin to bind the devil. Is a solemn service, is a sacred service. It's a time to remind ourselves the reason why we are Christians, why we are believers. The reason that we can claim to be born again. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you for bringing us into your presence. I ask, O oh Lord, as we look into your word briefly, please bless us and give us understanding of scriptures in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the communion of the Lord Jesus Christ will bring life to our souls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that every day of our life as we live, we will live with a consciousness that somebody paid a price for us. And that the life that we now live, we live by faith in the Son of God, who loved us and gave himself for us. Glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I want to talk to us on the topic, the life in Christ's communion. Life in Christ's communion. John chapter 6. I read from verse 53 down to verse 59. John chapter 6 from verse 53. And the word of God says, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Take note of that word. Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is the meat, is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. This is the word of God. You see Jesus repeatedly talking about life. Jesus repeatedly talking about living. He told us, anyone that cannot eat of the flesh of his body, anyone that cannot drink of his blood, have no life in him. What that means is that the person is already dead. Why yet? alive. So it's important for us as believers, as children of God, to always be a part of the communion of the Lord. Jesus offered up his own life for you and I, for the world. He offered up his life so that we can be delivered from death. And so that we can live forever. And so there is life in Christ Jesus. There is life when you take 
the communion. It shows that you are a child of God. It shows that the life of Christ is in you. It shows that the living Father is living in you. Jesus says, anyone who eats of his flesh and drink of his blood, that person has eternal life. And he says, even if the person dies here on earth, he says, on the last day, he will raise him up. What's the hope that we have as believers? Is the hope of eternal life. The reason why we are called Christians, the reason why we are striving so hard to enter heaven is so that we can have eternal life. And it can only come through Jesus. It can only come as you keep being a part of the communion in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. You cannot say you dwell in Jesus or that Jesus is dwelling in you and you cannot be a part of the communion service. Because you're a part of that communion service, you participate, you drink the blood, you take the flesh, the body of Jesus Christ. That tells that Jesus is in you. That tells that you are in Jesus Christ. That tells us that the life of God is in us. Jesus says that he live, he himself lived by the Father. So what it means is that Jesus is constantly in communion with the Father. There is never a time that Jesus is not in touch with the Father. There's never a time that he is not in communion with the Father. And this is what he expects of us. For us to be in communion with him. He said as, lo as often as we do it in remembrance of him. Sometimes we are too busy that we lose consciousness of what God has done for us. By giving his life for us. But at the communion table, we are reminded that Jesus paid the ultimate price. In order for us to secure eternal life. It brings the consciousness in us that we need to strive hard to live to please God. A man who does not have Jesus is dead. Even though he's alive. But you have Jesus. And so you have life. And that's the reason why we do communion. That's the reason why it is so spiritual and so sacred for us to gather like this. To be a part of the communion. Any believer who is always in communion with the Lord Jesus Christ has no dealing with the unfruitful works of darkness. Has no dealing with the kingdom of darkness. In fact, the devil will always see you and keep clear. Because every time he sees you, he sees that the blood of Christ is on you. He sees that the body of Christ that was broken for you, for the world, is evident in you. And because of that, he keeps clear. Life in the communion of Jesus Christ. And Jesus says, this is the bread that came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. Say, he that eateth this bread shall live forever. You want to live forever? You want to have life? Then, remember always to do the communion. And one thing I'd like to let you know, the communion of Jesus Resurrect everything that is dead, even in your physical body. 
What it means is that if there's any part of your body that is already experiencing death, the communion can revitalize it. If sickness has taken hold of any part of your body, and that part is dying, the organ is failing, the health is failing because of the communion tonight, as you take it, life will come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The communion brings life. It brings life to your dead business. The communion brings life. It brings life to the dead brain. The brain that seems not to be functioning the way God has created it. It can make that brain to begin to function again. Every dead thing in your life, as you take of this communion tonight, they are coming alive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have to believe. You have to know that what we are doing is symbolic. And so you have to approach the table in faith. What is that thing that you're believing God for? What is that thing that you want God to bring life into it? It could be your marriage. Your finances. Everything is going down. It looks as if your world is coming crashing. It looks as if there is no hope. It looks as if you're giving up in life because things are too difficult. The communion of the blood of Jesus, the communion of the body of Jesus can make things easy for you again in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I'd like us to be on our feet tonight as we begin to pray and talk to the Lord. I don't know what it is that is already experiencing death. The communion has the potency, the power to bring about your spiritual life, to wake it up and make it to come alive. If you are a child of God, you have been struggling with living a righteous life. Today you fall, tomorrow you rise. Today you can pray, next tomorrow you can no longer pray. You are now living in the carnal mind or with a carnal mind. The communion of Jesus can give life to your body. It can make you become insensitive to the things of the world such that your life will begin to blossom. Such that your spirit man will begin to grow fat. Your spirit man will become alive again in Christ Jesus. I want you to pray, say, Father, please help me. In the name of Jesus, let your life come into me. The communion brings life. Say, Father, let the life in Christ Jesus, let it come into my life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let that life come into that situation of my life that is already experiencing death. I don't know if the enemies have tampered with any part of your body. Through sickness, through diseases, through afflictions, whatever it is. Because you're here tonight to partake of the communion. Life is coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have been struggling in your life, in your prayer life, because you are here tonight to partake of the communion, life is coming to your prayer life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to begin to ask God, say, Father, let the life of the communion in Christ Jesus be evident in my life. Let it be evident in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. And the power, the forces of struggle, of struggling in my life. In the name of Jesus. Why are you so weak? Weak as a child of God. Why is it that you easily fall to the temptations of the enemy? The communion can make you stronger than your enemies. The communion can make you stronger and have victory over sin over sickness, over diseases. Say, Father, as I partake of the communion, let me have victory. Let me have your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Talk to the Lord now.